Okay, hello everyone. Um, I'm gonna show you today how to set up your machine. In this case, it's a Mac. Um, maybe it's something different in Windows, but uh, if you have problems, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to set up the new Expo CLI to run your first Expo React Native application. So let's just back into it. So here I have this, well, this is the title. Uh, what you need is these three simple steps. Uh, you need the Expo CLI, of course, and you can install it with npm install or yarn add global Expo CLI. And you, I recommend you to have the Expo app installed, the Expo client app installed in your phone. Either iOS or Android work, works fine. You can find that in the, in the stores. And also maybe if you want uh, to run the application in the simulator in your machine, then you need to set up the proper simulators for both iOS or Android, either one of you, the ones that you want. Um, those in, in case of the iOS, you need to install Xcode and also install a simulator. And for Android, uh, you need Android Studio and uh, install uh, one device uh, in, your, in your machine. But in this case, I have the iOS simulator uh, installed, so I can sh I'm going to show you with the iOS simulator. And uh, so let's just do it. OK, so um, I have here um, um, I'm going to create I'm going to install first the CLI. So I'm going to do npm install uh, minus G for global and then expo CLI. I already have this installed, so this should not uh, uh, take too long. Okay, so I have this installed. Let me just clear it. And now I can do, uh, so in order to create your first application, you need to uh, do expo init and then the name of your application. In my case, it's my first expo app. And when I do this, it will, uh, it will ask me if I want the tabs example that or the tabs template or the blank template. I just wanted the blank template so you can see it. And it's going to extract the whole project and um, it, it's going to install it for me. So I will be able to run it right away. So I have it here. So in the so now I can just go to my project and here you see that I have a basic uh, Expo application. If you've if you've been uh, using Expo before, well, this is how the project looks and now I can just do here I'm gonna open it in in my editor what I can do here now you see that I'm in my project if I do ls I'm in my pro well it doesn't seem to be quite okay so there you go okay so I have in my project so I can just run also expo start so when I run expo start it's going to open a new browser UI for my application. You can see that we have all the, uh, all the old tools that we had in the previous Expo CLI that it was with XDE and with uh, uh, create React Native app. So now you can change everything in this amazing UI. So let me just bump this a little bit. Maybe it's going to be easier for you to see. OK, so you have the QR code, you can you can also scan it or you can send the the application via SMS or you can run the IO simulator from here. So I'm going to do that and you see that it's going to attempt to open the simulator. OK, so finally now the application runs and you can see here that you have a basic application, blank application. And if you go to your code and let me just the code and also if I change something in the code to put and put hello world and save, you see that the application automatically runs again, live reload and change everything. So here you have it. Um, uh this should work for you guys if you have any problems just send me a, a comment and i will happily help you to set up your project so 
um, happy coding.